Hey there, sorry for not uploading for a week. Uh, I was on vacation and I thought I had brought enough footage to be able to edit and export and uh, then upload the videos on time, but I didn't have that extra hour of footage I thought I had brought with me. Um, I was completely out of footage. And this is why I record ahead of time, so that I can just have a stockpile of footage, which I didn't have this time, because I fudged up. Anyways, enough about that. Uh, so upon discovering I didn't have footage, I was going to record footage with a friend I had there while on vacation, but um, I didn't bring the uh, blue snowball with me. I brought uh, a blue Yeti that I had just recently purchased off from eBay with me, but it wasn't working. So I've been talking with the seller to see if we can figure out what's wrong. So far we haven't figured out anything that's wrong with it, so who knows where that's going to go. Uh, I, I may just end up returning it and just sticking with the blue snowball I'm using right now, but that's a little adventure. Alright, so moving on, Bloodborne. I can't help but notice that it's been multiple days and uh, Bloodborne's not getting any views. Like, not even just over-exaggerating, like literally the last two episodes I released got zero views and as I already mentioned, it's been a week. So I'm gonna take that to mean that no one out of the 17 subscribers I currently have cares about Bloodborne. Like, none of you at all care. That, that's what I'm gonna assume that means. Um, which is a bit disappointing to me because I was, I'm having a lot of fun recording it and playing it, and I still really want to record it and play it, and I'm sorry for being selfish, but I'm really, really enjoying this Bloodborne playthrough, and I really want to finish it, so I'm, I'm going to finish it, and who knows, maybe the views will pick up eventually towards the end or something like that, but, uh, I'm just having way too much fun to stop. And I kind of want to finish it just because I've finished so little other games on my channel so far. And I just, I really want to finish this game. So, uh, hopefully it's not too selfish um, to continue this for me and not so much for you guys. Because from what I can tell, you guys don't care to watch it. Heck, some of you might even hate it for all I know. However, I may start playing a second game on this channel. I don't know how many of you noticed this, but uh, I teased a Pokemon Blue version, Nuzlocke, uh, back in uh, A Dark Room Episode 3. Recently though, this game called Pokemon Uranium came out, and it looked pretty interesting, and then apparently it actually like got, well not really banned, but they took down the download links because Nintendo wasn't happy with them or something like that. Uh, I was able to find another download link through Reddit. And so I do have a functioning copy of it now. Um, but I might play that, and if so, uh, this would give me an opportunity to potentially do a blind Nuzlocke, or I could just play through it like a regular person. Um, for those who don't know, a Nuzlocke usually limits, well, always limits the amount of Pokemon you can catch. You can only catch the first one from any route or area that you encounter. So any other wild Pokemon that pop up past that first one, uh, you can't catch it. So. Considering that this one does have some new Pokemon in it, um, this could either go one of two ways. Either Nuzlocking could limit me in that I won't be able to catch an experiment with a lot of the new Pokemon, but at the same time, that can also be a good thing because then it forces me to use some of the Pokemon that some people might not usually have used, and so I might end up having a more unique team than other people playing this game. So, because maybe I got stuck with a Pokemon that doesn't look as cool as some of the other Pokemon. I don't know. That's why I'm going to leave it up to you. Uh, either could be fun. Um, Nuzlocking is incredibly challenging and dangerous to do when you're doing a blind run, and so there's probably going to be lots and lots of failures and heart-wrenching moments where stuff dies, and that that's always a plus. Kind of. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it just comes down to whether or not you want me to just steamroll through a game and just enjoy it or do you want me to challenge run through a game and still enjoy it but hey there might be some sad moments where stuff dies who knows so yeah definitely give me feedback on that um preferably the comment section i i have some people on skype and i know that you guys prefer to contact me on skype but this time i'm i'm gonna ask you please use the comment section uh that allows other viewers who don't have the luxury of skype to interact with you guys and interact with me uh, plus, I think some people are just shy and don't want to be the first person to comment sometimes, so there's always that kind of thing as well that you guys can help with, so please, uh, I know that you have an advantage, but just use YouTube, alright? Thanks, I appreciate it. 
there's a lot of things I have to think about and do that'll decide the future of this channel. I want to add some new shows, but I'll be resuming college again soon, as well as getting a job, and I don't know if I'll have the time to start new shows, so I'm kind of postponing that. Um, there's a bit more to it than that, but I don't feel like talking about it in this video, if ever. Uh, I want to be open and honest with you guys, but not quite that open. Mm, or rather, let me rephrase that. I do want to be that open, but I don't want anyone to pity me or respond or watch my videos because they feel sorry for me. I don't want to burden the viewer. I want you to watch me because you enjoy me and my take on a game or my playstyle in general or whatever else you tend to enjoy in Let's Plays. I want you to watch me for that reason not because you pity me or feel obligated or pressured to do so. Which in this case, being 100% honest could potentially psychologically manipulate some responses out of some of you, and I don't ever want to do that. I'm sorry, but manipulation, intentional or not, disgusts me, so I'm doing this just as much for me as for you so that I don't grow to hate myself. So yeah, I won't go into details, but uh, if you're religious, feel free to pray for me. Uh, if you're not religious, just send good vibes through your computer monitor. Uh, that's a thing here, I'm, I'm gonna do it myself right now. Did, did it work? I, I think it worked. Alright, yeah, 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 just, just do, 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 do that. Yeah, do, do that. Perfect, okay. Um, don't forget to leave the feedback about the Nuzlocke, and bye!